Hi, welcome to this overview of Klaus, your quality management platform. Klaus helps you improve the quality of your support by regularly delivering you feedback from your quality team. You can track your internal quality scores alongside other metrics such as CSAT, as well as complete quizzes, attend one-on-one -on -one sessions, and discuss feedback and trends with your team. I'm gonna show you how to make the most out of Klaus. Let's check it out. Let's start with how you will be notified when you have received some new feedback in Klaus. Our notifications are delivered by either email or Slack. If your admin has allowed it, you'll be able to customize your notifications. You can choose from several notification settings, such as sending daily, weekly, or monthly reports, being notified when you have received a review, or if someone has replied to you or mentioned you in a comment. If you have any ongoing disputes, you can also be notified of the outcome. You can choose the frequency of your email notifications, while Slack notifications are sent instantly. If your admin has locked these settings, reach out to them if you wish to make changes. Let's see how the notifications look. Your email notifications come with a direct link to your received reviews folder. Click the link to view how you have been rated. With Slack, you will receive your notification via the Klaus Slack app. If you are looking to improve your performance over time, it is important that you open and read the feedback you receive. Your review team can see if you have viewed the feedback or not, so it's best to check Klaus regularly. Your main way of interacting with the feedback given to you is via your activity tab. Your received folders are the equivalent to an inbox. Here you'll find the conversations where you have either been reviewed or mentioned in the comments. You can track any reactions you receive within Klaus, as well as any survey feedback such as CSAT that you have collected. Your given folders are the equivalent to an outbox where any reviews or comments you have made can be found. Your disputes folder tracks all of your disputed reviews. The conversation itself can be found in the middle of the page, and on the right hand side is where you will see your grade for the conversation. The score received is what we call the Internal Quality Score, or IQS, and this is calculated by how you scored for each category in the scorecard. The scorecards are fully customized for your team, so if you have questions or doubts about a particular category, reach out to your quality team to learn more. In some cases, the categories may have a description added to them. Simply hover over the name to read the full description. Some categories may have built-in root causes, which should help you understand the reason why you passed or failed a given category. Categories marked with exclamation marks indicate that they are critical, meaning that if you scored negatively for this category, it will automatically fail the entire ticket. You can add a reaction to the feedback, as well as reply to the reviewer or start a discussion with other Klaus users. Tags are also available in Klaus, so you can categorize and filter your conversations in list views and on your dashboard. This can be handy for remembering to bring it along to a one-on-one, -on -one, or simply to have an easy way of filtering for these specific conversations later. If you've received a grade which you disagree with, you have the option to dispute it. You'll need to submit the score you think is correct, and then send it back to your review team, who will either approve or reject the dispute. You can star any conversation to save it. It will be easily accessible via your starred folder in the conversation tab. Or you can also pin the conversation, which allows you to start a discussion with a colleague or bring it along to a coaching session in Klaus. We'll discuss pins in more detail later in the video. The conversation tab is your own inbox of conversations that have been synced to Klaus. You can use filters to search for specific conversations such as ones where you receive low CSAT scores, for example. Here, you can also find your starred items, as well as conduct self-reviews if your admin has given permission to do so. Self-reviews are a great way to analyze your own work and can help you see your customer interactions in a different light. The dashboard reflects your results and performance. Here, you can view your IQS scores for a given time period. Each dashboard card helps explain your performance. At the top, you can track your IQS and CSAT scores together, 
to give you an overview of your performance from both an internal and external perspective. You can also see your results compared to the previous time period. The next chart shows how you have performed per category in your scorecard. This is great for identifying your strengths and weaknesses according to your team's quality standards. You can track both your IQS and category scores over time, so you can clearly see how you're progressing. Finally, there's a list of all your received reviews for the given time period. You also have access to the surveys dashboard, where you can get a deeper breakdown of your feedback survey scores. This is where you can track your CSAT over time and dig a bit deeper into what your customers are saying about the support you provided. The Disputes dashboard keeps track of all of your disputed cases. And finally, the category breakdown takes a deeper look into how you performed against each category in your scorecard. The root causes table helps explain the reasons that you passed or failed a certain category. If you notice you are failing a category for the same reason over and over again, it might be a good idea to pin the chart and discuss it with your manager. The last area of Klaus to explore is the coaching section that helps you grow and develop your support skills. Our quizzes feature is where your training and quality team may create and assign quizzes for you to complete. Pins are what I mentioned earlier in the video. These are great for starting discussions or for bringing along to your coaching sessions or one-on-ones. You are able to pin any conversation, review, dashboard card, or even custom note to your own set of private folders. From here, you can invite other users, such as your manager, to a discussion where you can chat about the pinned item. Or you can link them direct to a coaching session. Coaching sessions are a place to document and organize one-on-ones with either your manager, coach, or quality specialist. All of your performance metrics are visible here for the given time period chosen. While the talking points and notes are only for the coach to fill in, you can attach any pinned items direct to the session. This will share the pin with your coach, allowing you to both access and discuss during your one-on-one. -on -one. You and your coach can also add action items to help keep your goals on track. You can also write any private notes to your coaching sessions. These will only be visible to you. Your coaching history is all on the same page, so you can easily keep track of your action items over time. Finally, if you run into any issues with Klaus, or just have some questions about how it works, this is where you can access our knowledge base, as well as start a live chat with our support team. And if quality management is something you are interested in, feel free to join our community of support quality experts. Thanks for watching this introductory video of Klaus. You can check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials.